Shalom. First and foremost, I give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Baha Shem Yahusha, Baha Shem Kakurash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, one he called God. His name, the Hebrew means he exists. And Yahweh's side's name is the only God's Son, who the world he calls Jesus Christ. And his name, the Hebrew means he is deliver. Baha Shem is in the name, or Kakurash, the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Mother Stone well. Peace and blessings unto the shock and this push forward in the truth throughout the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom to you, brothers, keep pushing. And the double shalom to this life, like this look like the other nations and this shock with you. I want to say shalom to you, brothers and sisters as well. My name is the Wild from GMS Line Single to Camp. And I'll come back in another video. And in this video, I'm entitled Working Out Your Problems. Working Out Your Problems. So the spirit hopped on me, you know, just decided just to do a motivational video for any brother that might be, um, you know, going through some things and is feeling down, um, you know, because, you know, we all growing in this thing and we all make mistakes, but you have to, you know, get up and keep going. Okay, because this thing is a race. Let me turn this battery saver off because my phone will keep cutting off if it do. So, yeah, this thing is a race. And, you know, we constantly learning and we constantly uh, getting tried. Okay. Because hey, this truth is forever. All right. So, yeah, without further ado, we're going to hop into the description of what's beautifying. So, this is Ecclesiastes 37. And I got verses 13 through 16. It reads, And let the counsel of thy own heart stand. For there is no man more faithful unto thee than it, right? So let the counsel of their own heart. See, brothers got to learn how to think for themselves, okay? Because, uh, like, even then, like, in this truth, you know, because Yahweh Shah told us that the kingdom was is within you, okay? You have to follow uh, the scriptures to the best of your ability, you know, because you in this truth for yourself. And you also in this truth for other brothers as well, because, you know, we all the body. The scripture says two or two are better than one, right? But even it's true for yourself, you know. You gotta see what was good for yourself. So verse 14, for a man's mind is sometimes want to tell him more than seven watchmen that sit above in a higher tower, right? So sometimes, you know, your own mind, because so th there's no man that can perceive something. Uh, you know, like you can, unless you, you know, going off and, you know, brother got uh, demons on him. Yeah, by all means necessary, you know, re rebuke. But if you how about Shemir Ashah, hey, he's dealing with you. Then you have to have that faith in you, how about Shemir Ashah, because you and his truth to uh, build yourself. Okay, verse uh, 15. And above all, this pray to the Most High that he would direct thy way in truth. Right, so you got to pray to the Most High and the Most High direct your way. Okay? And, I mean, if you're feeling like you're confused or whatever, you know, just call a brother, you know? Yeah, you know, if a brother's not available, hey, talk to the Most High. Because Yahweh Shai, you know, taught us how to pray. Okay? And we have to pray for these uh, things, uh, you know, daily bread and... Uh, you know, forgiving us for our sins because, you know, we, we sin every day, whether we know it or not. Okay. I mean, just waking up and putting on your shirt is sinning because, you know, which I try to buy my clothes, you know, with, of one fabric, but it's pretty much impossible with how uh, things ran, right? It says, um, verse 16, let reason go before every enterprise and counsel before every action. Right, so yeah, so so let reason go and counsel. Okay, so you got to reason within yourself. Like, should I do this or should I should I not do this? Should I? Um, I mean, even when you confronted a brother about something that he may or uh, may or may not did, it, you know, is this serious enough? Should I let this go? Okay, should I confront him about this? You know, should I rebuke him? Okay, so that's how uh, what. You got to do on a day-to-day -day, ba day -day basis. But, hey, and nobody said it would be easy. But, hey, this 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 truth is not easy, you know, because this really is the easy part. The Lord is allowing us to 
apply um, these the truth in like small situations. Because when we get to the big situations, that's when it really matters. Okay, but the little is important as well. You know, the little is the foundation. You know, if you can't do the little, then you most definitely can't do the big. Okay. And many brothers are going to fold in that day because they're not doing the little things, you know. And I just pray I'm not one of them. You know, you, Akim, and I'll watch them as tuning in. You pray that you're not one of them yourself. Okay? So this is uh, Ecclesiastes 30 and 21. And it reads, Give not over thy mind to heaviness and afflict not thyself in thy own counsel. Right, so you ain't supposed to give over your mind to heaviness. Okay, you know, uh, like I had a problem, you know, of beating up on myself. Okay, um, you know, not giving myself grace to make mistakes and like and to learn from my mistakes. You know, because that's a blockage. Because that means you too, um, you know, you too proud to humble down. And. And Yahweh Bashimi Arashar got a special way of humbling somebody, you know, who don't like to take rebuke or criticism. Okay? But the scripture says, what, a, a, a fool hardens his neck. Matter of fact, let's get that real fast. I think that might be Proverbs 29. And one kind. It says... He that being often reproved, harden his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy, right? So you have no healing that. You know, so you're being reproved. You know, you, you harden your neck, you know, because you feel like you know, everybody attacking you or coming down on you, all right? And shit, maybe they are. You know, maybe you are going off, but you have to learn how to take the low and be abased. Okay, you're not gonna win every single battle. Okay, Cause, you know you got a nigga that think he Floyd Mayweather through the spirit. You know, like nah, man. We all make mistakes, so you gotta get up and learn from them. Okay. It says the gladness of the heart is the life of man, and the joyfulness of a man prolongeth his days. Right. And even it's like and even Mayweather got hit, but you know, you gotta what? You gotta keep moving forward. Just cause you lose a round doesn't mean you're gonna lose the whole match. Okay? Read it again. The gladness of the heart is the life of man, and the joyfulness of a man prolongeth his days, right? So yeah, so yeah, be happy, man. So yeah, be happy that the Lord um woke you up and brought you into the truth. Because you could have been just like the rest of these niggas out here. That's lost in the sauce. Hey, even you uh, sisters is tuning in to the video. And, you know, we appreciate y'all for, um, for the views and likes or whatever. Okay? You could have been a um, Mr. Regular Ho. You know, a Tatiana in the world. You know? A butterfly tattoo, baby boop tattoo, shaking your butt, some cloud tattoo, some stars. You know, we didn't see all that crap, all right? It says, um, verse 23, Love thy own soul and comfort thy heart. Remove sorrow from thee, for sorrow have killed many. And there is no profit therein, right? So, yeah, it's no profit therein. I mean, it's, it's, you're not going to gain anything out of it. I mean, you're just beating yourself up. There is no profit. Okay? So, you might end up hurting yourself. You know, you just... You're not helping yourself. Verse 24. Wrath, envy and wrath shorten the life. And carefulness bringeth age before the time. A cheerful and good heart will have care of his meat and diet. Right? So brothers got to make sure that they're eating healthy. Okay? And, um... I just say, not to say you got to be like a health fanatic or nothing like that. But just be mindful of what you're putting into your body. Okay? Because... I mean, this food is already defiled, but you at least have to make that effort. You got to show you how about Shemiah Shad that you're trying. You can't be like, oh, man, it's defiled anyway. So I might as well just go, go and get a Big Mac from McDonald's. Like, no, man, no. 
Yeah, I mean, if you still eating McDonald's, man, nigga, I don't know what to tell you, bro. All right. I'm going to just say you're not in the truth, man. <laughs> this is 2 Corinthians 13 and 5, and it reads, Examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. Prove your own self. Know ye not your own selves? How that you how is you how shy my shell is in you except you be reprobates, right? So you gotta examine yourself, prove yourself. Right? So you gotta prove it to yourself. So yeah, the main um person that you're battling. So you gotta battle with yourself, you know, your own mind, your own insecurities, your own body. Okay, those demons on your shoulders are telling you, you you can't do it. You're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You're not handsome enough or pretty enough or whatever. Okay, this whole society, what, it um promotes low self-esteem. You know, especially with this, uh, this you know, this Instagram, social media stuff. A lot of those women, <laughs> you know, they use uh, enhancements. Okay, and... And it's uh, like filtered out, so it's not even real women, you know. That like, a lot of those photos is edited. It says, but I trust that you shall know that we are not reprobates. Now I pray to how that you do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that you should do that which is honest, that we be as reprobates, right? So yeah, you got to do that which that which is honest, you know. You, know, you gotta, you know, you gotta pace yourself, and like in this truth, you gotta give yourself time to like learn something, and that's something um, that brothers have to learn how. You know, like even with reading, you know, like reading and study that takes patience. You can't just just skim over some stuff and then just think that you got it. You know, you gotta actually just read slow. Okay, like, uh, you know, like somebody told me that I had dyslexia, all right? It might be like a form of dyslexia, but I realized that, you know, I got to just slow down and read, okay, so you can understand what the scriptures is telling you, all right? So, First Peter 5 and 6, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care out upon him, for he careth for you, right? So you gotta humble yourself, right? So you, you can't think like, oh, oh, I got it, man. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. You gotta, you gotta be patient, you know? Like the scriptures tell you, you know, be patient. Now I change to a lower state, okay? This is Ecclesiastes 32. And I'm going to start at 18. A man of counsel would be considerate, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. Even when of himself he have done without counsel. Do nothing without advice. And when thou hast done once, repent not. Right? So yeah, so you got to be you know, con you know, consider it, okay. And uh, yeah, you know, like, like you know, eat, like when you're dealing with a brother, you know, you gotta be, cons you know, you gotta be considerate, All right? So do nothing without advice, and when I is done once, repent not. Go not in the way where end thou mayest fall, stumbling out upon the stones, right? All right. So yeah, once you do, I repent not. So what? I mean, like, you you do something, um, you know, you should meditate on something before you, you know, think things through. All right. 
before you just go and just run your damn mouth or whatever. Or just do something out of out of impulse. Cause you know, like, we can't operate like that. Be not confident in the plain way and beware of thy own children. In every good work, trust thy own soul, for this is the keeping of the commandments. He that believeth in the Lord, take a heed of the commandment. And he that trusted in him shall fear never the worse. Right? So you got to take heed of the commandments, man. So if you believe in the Lord, you take heed of the commandments. You know, faith is, you know, action. Right. This is Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might, for there is no work, no device, no knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. Right. So, yeah. So, whatever you're doing, hey, do it with your might. You want to learn a new language? Do it with your might. You want to learn a new martial arts style? You know, or if you want to learn a martial arts style, do it with your might. Okay. You're trying to get better at fasting. You're trying to get better at reading. And even trying to get better at women, because, you know, dealing with women is a skill. Because the scripture says, what? Deal with them according to knowledge. Okay? First, you have to understand the purpose of a woman. You have to understand that she is beneath you and that you are her head. And you know, most importantly, you have to get yourself together. You have to know who, have a good relationship with yourself. You know, like I read, you know, do good into thy own soul. Because if you can't do good into yourself, how you going to do good to a woman? You know? Like, you don't even do good to yourself. So how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Okay? So Ecclesiastes 4, 9, and it reads, Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe unto them that is alone when he falleth. For he have not another to help him up. Right? It's a kind of gem, so. It's better to stick together. And to, uh, you know, be off on your own. Like, that, uh, you know, you had a lot of niggas that fell out of GMS. Or, I'm going to do my own thing. You know, you do do your own thing, demon. It's just a, it's just a nice way of saying, hey, I don't want to be here no more. It's like an easy way of uh, letting, of, um, letting brothers down easy. Because your bitch ass don't want to do the work. Okay, you know it, it, it's like it, it's like going to a job and then, oh, this job ain't for me. And then you just leave. <laughs> like that's pretty much what you're doing, man. And I'm gonna end it off with this, Lord willing. So this is Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every man whom he receiveth. If he endure chastising, how will deal it with you as with sons? For what sons is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if you be without chastisement, whereof are all partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us. 
and we gave them reverence, right? So, right, um, you got to understand, like, the Lord is chastising you because the Lord look at you as a son. You know, you correct your son. And somebody who's not your son, you, you don't correct them. You know? For they really it's like you. Uh, verse 9. Shall we not much rather be in subjection to the Father of Spirits and live? For they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure. But he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness, right? So they chastise us for their own pleasure. Because, you know, hey, hey, we done been through that, man. Like, our fathers, you know, like, you know, brothers are lucky out there to have a, you know, a good mentally sane father. You know, but a lot of our parents, they just do it for their own, they own, um, uh, you know, like to toot their own horn. Like, yeah, I'm the daddy, I'm the mama. You know, or take the anger out of you. You know, just to boost yourself up. You know, but the Lord is doing that for your benefit. You know, the Lord is trying to show you, the, like, the way and, and what's good and what's not. Okay? It says, read, read that again. It says, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Right? Because, hey, if we endure this... And if we learn the lessons that we're supposed to learn, okay, then the Lord will make us join heirs with him. All right? Now, no chastening for the present seemed to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Right? Therefore, lift up the hands which hang down in the feeble knees. Right? So, yeah, it don't feel good. Right? It says, but it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness. So, kind. Of, so, even though it don't feel good, at the end of the day, you're going to get a, a reward for going through all that. Okay? As, uh... We all fighting for that crown. Okay, we fighting to be worthy. All right, and this is really the reason why we going through all this. To be counted worthy, all right? But I'm going to end it off with that. I'm going to say, call Allah, Allah, I'm like, how about Shemiel Shai? By Shemiel Kekodash, Shalom, the Bible, Bible.